Depending on the narcissist that you're dealing with depends on whether they can hold down a long-term relationship or they often have a lot of short-term relationships. When it comes to a narcissist, not all narcissistic individuals will actually cheat on you. It depends on the illusion, the impression that they're trying to sell to others and trying to sell to those around them. So some narcissistic people will go all out to cling on to that one relationship to save face, to prove that they can hold down a steady relationship, especially if they're competing with their siblings who have one long-term relationship. It depends on the illusion that individual is trying to sell. However, even if they hold down a long-term relationship, they still treat you out of your hopes and your dreams and your happiness and your health and your wealth and your friends and your family. A majority of narcissistic individuals will commit infidelity. They will cheat on their partners. They kind of monkey branch from one relationship to the next briefly, well, not quite letting go of one before they step into the new relationship. They, they move on before their side of the bed is even cold. A lot of narcissistic people do tend to have many short-term relationships. And this is often due to their lack of empathy. It's not the other person that they are with. We can, we can all meet people, get to know them and recognise that we don't really want the same things out of life. And those, those breakups are hard enough. With a narcissist, it's nothing about who the other person is. It's who they are. They like the empathy. They're looking to fulfil their own immediate needs. They have no consideration for the other party. They can often fear that intimacy. They fear vulnerability because they exploit other people's vulnerability. So they don't want you to know too much about them. So if you get too close to the truth about them and they don't believe that you're going to talk with their behaviour once you recognise, they are very shame-based in, in one sense. They will then up and leave you. Narcissistic individuals don't tend to feel guilty. They do feel that shame of what other people might think of them, which is why they shift the blame. Narcissistic individuals need that continued validation. They need that regular external validation from other people to fulfil their own self-worth and their own self-esteem, sort of a ego boost. And so a fresh new source of supply gives them that validation, it gives them that sense of self-importance, it gives them that sense that everyone would like to be with them, that they're special and that they're important. Narcissistic individuals also like to be in control. Therefore, for a short-term relationship, they can often manipulate with a, a greater ease yet they don't want to commit to the long term. They don't want to deal with the nitty gritty of life. They can be extremely impulsive. They can be looking for that immediate satisfaction. They're looking to get their desires met. They're not looking for any long term plans. Now, they might make long-term plans with you in the love bombing and the idolisation stage of the relationship when they're future faking with you to suck you in. So it seems like they're making those long-term plans. However, they're not their plans. They're not their desires or their hopes or their dreams. So there's no passion behind it. It's just exploitation and manipulation. So they can seemingly make that long-term plan, but they don't, they don't mean anything by it. They just jump quickly from one relationship to the next without any form of consideration for the other person's feelings. They're just preoccupied with getting their needs met at any given moment in time. Narcissistic individuals are extremely selfish and self-centred. 
Therefore, they're always going to be prioritising their own needs above all others. Narcissistic individuals can also be prone to boredom. Now, many people can be prone to boredom. Many people can actually just enjoy doing nothing. We are all individuals. However, when genuine people find themselves prone to boredom, they, they find something to do that doesn't negatively impact somebody else. Narcissists like the empathy and they're looking for the chase. They're looking for the excitement. They're looking for the thrill. So they get that with the new relationship, temporary fix. And then as soon as it comes to settling down, it's boring for them. Again, in the beginning, they might, they will mirror the person they are with. So if who they are with one week wants to get married and have two children, they'll want to get married and have two children. If who they are with the week after wants to avoid marriage and not have any children, they'll want to avoid marriage and not have any children. If somebody wants to move to a different area, they'll want to move to a different area. If someone wants to go on a cruise, they'll want to go on a cruise. If someone wants to go camping, they want to go camping. They sort of try on other people's personalities, the size. And the things that they do, they enjoy, they will, they will take into the next relationship. But it's still not genuinely who they are as a person. And they can also have lots of short-term relationships due to their fear of exposure. They fear you can expose them, they will jump ship as quickly as possible and some will just completely go off the radar and disappear on you so that you can't expose their true character to others. And they're just off exploiting someone new. So when it comes to a narcissist and their short-term relationships, it's nothing to do with the person, it's to do with who the narcissist is as a person. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot get no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot give no contact, and a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. I do have a book also, a short book on how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. They'll be in the description also if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.